Hey everyone, Dr. Alex Ritza here. It is a somewhat beautiful Monday in Toronto and we are live for Lunch and Learn TV. And we're gonna be continuing our April theme talking about the shoulder and continuing our discussion how we talked about the spine's importance in positioning the shoulder blade and the spine's also its importance in uh, basically rotator cuff and shoulder injuries that if your posture is really far forward and kyphotic, you're gonna have a lot more shoulder issues and there's a lot of research backing that up. So today is also gonna be a, a double serving of exercises. We're gonna focus uh, on some drills for the shoulder, but they'll also double and work really, really well for people that are looking to improve their posture. Now, I'm gonna say a, a word of warning or a structure. So posture is your ability to hold yourself up nice and straight, sit with nice posture. Structure is the underlying natural shape or structure of the spine. And the analogy that we've used before is the CN Tower versus the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And so if you are more Leaning Tower of Pisa, you're gonna have to work a lot harder to get your posture upright than if you naturally sit here because your structure is stacked up and intact. So that being said, if you have an underlying structural uh, or postural problem with your spine, correcting that first is going to make this postural work a lot more effective. And when we work with somebody who has a shoulder injury where the shoulder is really tilted forward, part of our mission is to correct that underlying structure so that uh, the shoulder heals faster, so that it's able to move well because the spine is sitting in the right spot. So we're going to go over five drills that you can do. And whether you have a shoulder issue, you want to prevent a shoulder issue, or you're really doing this to make sure that you're correcting your posture and your structure as much as possible, you probably want to do these every single day. Now, four times a week is better than zero, two times a week is better than zero, but seven times a week is the best. And making this part of your morning routine would be really fantastic. Now, uh, I might add some uh, preambles to some of the drills saying like how often you should do it, but in general, uh, you want to shoot towards two or three sets of eight to 10 repetitions. That should take about 15 minutes. And if this is your goal, then you might want to push some other stuff off your plate. Focus on this stuff if you really want to improve your posture and you really want to help with your shoulder issues. So some of these things we've gone through before, actually probably most of them I've shown before, but we're just going to put the five together today so that you can have a nice, uh, simple, comprehensive plan if you want to revert back or view this video. And of course, if you're watching this live on Instagram, you can always go onto our Facebook page. And if you go onto our Facebook page, you'll see the video uh, there that you can use over and over again. Okay, so drill number one, the reach back. We've gone over this before. I was going over this with a practice member this morning. I'm gonna try and do this here on the couch. So uh, my heels are sitting back on my buck. Oh, there's a pillow. If they don't reach, you can put a pillow underneath. And so for the reach back, what we do, hand comes here, right here between the knees, hand goes onto the small of our back, and then we're gonna rotate up through the spine, folding for a second, and come back down. You can also do this with your hand on the back of your head, the shoulder, or sorry, elbow just in front of the knees, and then reaching up, oh, and that one's a lot more difficult. And after a week of cycling, that one is very challenging for me because I've been in this position for 700 kilometers. So reach back, amazing, two to three sets, eight to 10 repetitions. Beautiful. Uh, the next thing that is going to build some strength and some mobility through the spine, simple drill we've done before is the bird dog. So this is where, I've got to kind of angle this a little bit better. Knees are underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. And this is where if we're just focusing on the upper limbs, we're going to reach the hand out, keeping the chin nice and tucked, like it's on a train track. And that would be one repetition on the right, one repetition on the left. You can also throw the legs in there if you like, but I really like this drill because this is going to build some strength around the muscles of the shoulder blade. They're going to uh, help to tilt it backwards and also build some strength the thoracic spine we know from the research that that is really really good at doing that so one more time pressing up through the hands core is nice and tight i could have a glass of water on my back not moving reaching up nice and forward 
head position does not change. And if you really just want, and you're short for time to focus on the upper limb, you can do just that. Now, next thing we're gonna go over is more of a passive mobility drill. You can build a little bit of strength into it, but it's passive uh, in terms of building some flexibility and mobility, a prayer stretch. Now, let's hopefully the camera will catch this. So our prayer stretch, what we need to do, find a chair or a couch in this case, uh, that's about waist height, and we have our hands down on it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sink down with our heels towards our buttock. And you're gonna get a nice bit of mobility through the mid back. Now I'm gonna move the camera a little bit here because I think that's gonna help us. Ah, perfect. Let's go back here. So this is gonna be a little bit better. So hands out and keeping nice and tight through the core. We're gonna come down and you're gonna feel both the stretch here through the swimmer's muscle, through the lat, but also through the back. Oh, and that feels amazing. You don't wanna to have too much movement through the low back like this. Try and keep the core nice and tight and then really lower yourself down, bring your heel towards your buttock. And again, you wanna keep your chin nice and tucked and you'll get a nice stretch uh, through the lats and through some of the arm muscles. Uh, the next one that we are going to do is gonna be one that you can also do in the office, seated thoracic extension drill. Hands interlocks behind the head. And you're doing this mainly to protect the neck, not putting too much pressure on it. And you're gonna work on arching the back nicely up, not just with the head, really trying to generate motion between the shoulder blades as much as you can. Good. And then this one, you know, you could do three sets of 10. And this one you could spread throughout the day you might get a little bit of a pinching or a tight feeling, uh, and that pinching or tight feeling is just the muscles that you're activating between the ribs, uh, sorry, between the shoulder blades and are not used to being strengthened. And then the last thing, which I'm not gonna demonstrate just because of the camera angle, but we were gonna use our foam roller. So I think the foam roller is a good piece of equipment that everybody should have. Like we sell them at the office, very, very cheap, almost at cost just because it's really important. I think our practice members should all have them. And then so for the foam rolling, ah, let's show it. Let's move this camera here a little bit. Perfect. For the foam rolling, we're going to have the roller underneath our back, starting basically from the base of the shoulder blades, and then either hands behind our neck or across our chest, work on arching backwards over the roller, and you can move the roller a little bit more up and a little bit more up as you get closer to the neck you're going to want to have your hands beneath there trying to protect it and you can go up and back through the spine and this is both an active and a passive drill because the muscles will be working to contract to arch you backwards over the roller but it'll also act as a mobilization drill that will help to improve the mobility and the flexibility of those joints. So that's what you got guys, five great posture drills or structure drills, I should say, that will then help with a shoulder injury, but will also help you look a little bit better, a little bit more upright, maybe a little bit more handsome, uh, that will help your, your spine sit in a better posture. So the, again, we talked about the disclaimer that if there is an underlying structural issue, these drills might not work as well as you would like. They might take longer. And if they're painful, that's probably a good indicator that you need to get in uh, and have your spine assessed because there might be an underlying core issue with it. So I hope those are really helpful. If there's somebody in your life that has a shoulder issue or has a structural shift uh, forward in their spine or their posture is really poor, please share this video. Please get the info out. It is free. I am happy to provide it because I know it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, and otherwise, I hope everyone has an amazing week. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please send me a direct message on Facebook or Instagram. I'll be happy to respond. And I uh, hope you guys have a lovely, lovely, lovely week.